What's going on, YouTube? Got a little bit of a different one for you guys today. I just thought it'd be really fun to put in this just from my stream the other day, and it's just to do with how to get started, how to put your best foot forward, and how to grow this uh, this whole journey as being a content creator. And it's not easy. It's not a road that most people would choose to be fun. And I don't uh, take lightly on the fact that uh, it is it is a good it is a high effort output um, task. So it's just me trying to give an honest bit of feedback to those of you that are looking to sort of get into it, put your best foot forward and understand that it is a process, it is a journey. And I hope some of these tips uh, might encourage or help or, or sort of motivate some of you to just sort of get started. That's the hardest thing, getting started, man. So uh, much love to everyone out there that's sort of grinding and hustling. Uh, hope this helps. You're planning to get into content creation awesome. soon and streaming. Got any tips? I mean, lay it on me, friend. Like, what would you like to know? I've been kind of doing it on and off for about two and a bit years now, and so like just giving it my best foot forward. So I think uh, if you're gonna do anything, brother, like as far as if you're trying to create videos, the biggest tip would be to pre-make, like make five videos that you think are good. Um, it doesn't matter if they are or they aren't, just get five pre-made and then just post them like at, like all at once basically. And then when you post them, like then try to get consistent with schedule. So like consistency matters more than quality and the kind of the consensus being that you will make a hundred videos and then um, you'll kind of have an idea of like what your data will be as far as like what people like and you can sort of get, gravitate toward what people like say for me i'll throw things at the wall what's up mickey boy handsome sir um and for me i throw everything at the wall at this point like i just need to post a bit more so for me i need to try and get some more shorts going like if i get some funny goofy moments i and, like i need to like be posting on all the platforms so like you need to be uploading like short form content as well as long form but I would say that depending on like what you're trying to get bigger on will depend like YouTube people like long form content and they don't really like short as much, of course. Now, tip number three is to niche down, figure out a niche and really get granular and deep on this educational stuff. Like for me, I'm not the best, but I do have enthusiasm and make people laugh and I kind of have some like input as far as like positioning and like just general tips so like people like come to me for that kind of stuff like you're asking me right now tip number four is so easy to do and very easy not to do and it is as simple as don't be so freaking hard on yourself yeah like from like when you start just have the idea of being that when you do start you're not gonna stop until you hit your goals i might like be a good example nope, of like i, I started out with a webcam and all these things i went without one and now i'm back with it so like i'll be curious to see what my numbers tell me like if being with a better setup like this versus what i was doing screaming through my console is better but it's kind of hard to say it's just if you look at my like receipts as far as how consistent i have been um you just can't let the numbers it's hard to you bro you just gotta experiment and you just get better like you look at my first stream versus now and it is very it, like you, you'll just see a progression over time right that's the main thing Mr. Beast would say and, and tell you just trying to make every little bit of content better than your last. Tip number five, especially, especially, especially for people that are in the live streaming space, you need to be in a position where you're building engagement. You're artificially coming up with ways to communicate, artificial ways to, to care and invest in those that come and give you their time and attention. It is so important. Just with gaming stuff, just gotta throw everything against the wall, bro get consistent and don't take yourself too seriously try to build a community if, especially if you're live streaming you gotta like take time out of your day to really get to know your community and thank people for coming by like they're giving you their attention so you shouldn't take that lightly in the slightest you know this is a very big honor to have people that would do that for you time is valuable Time is the most finite resource in the world, bro. Now this next one isn't exactly a tip, but it's more to do with process and how the emphasis being that you will get better over time. Until you get your process down, start to finish of how you edit, how you render, how you like cut, trim, like you'll find that like through uploading, like I'm in the battle, constant battle with regards to like when you're a smaller channel, you get you get smaller bit rates when you upload to YouTube and every single time you're uploading or downloading something so like what I did initially is I would it's terrible but 
I would I didn't know about like saving from your console to um like the PlayStation app but I would like ever since I learned that then I would like take it from the like PlayStation app I'd upload it like to CapCut edit it there and then I'd upload without short form longer form um I was uploading straight to YouTube and then downloading to my computer and then editing it in CapCut and then I would save it as a new file and then upload it back to YouTube as far as uh now like what i've experimented with is i would do the playstation share and that would render it and get it to a better quality a better more concise bit rate and then it'd be more compressed as a file maybe and be higher like quality overall as i'm saying and so like then i'd upload it to youtube and then i'd do that process like of like you know editing it on my computer but now what i'm looking to do is i'm recording on my bp gaming rig right now and with a capture card, like I know your console probably has a built-in one, but I would, uh, right now what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to get a USB from a gaming rig and then plug it straight into my laptop. And then from my laptop, I'm gonna go to like through CapCut and then I just upload straight from my computer to YouTube. And that way there's not the upload, download, then upload of bitrate compression. So every time you upload and download, that is the YouTube gonna be giving you a more like dense file because it costs them. Um, resources on their servers to produce a request. The bigger your channel is, the more like server space, shelf space they give you because you're a higher demand, you bring eyeballs to their um, platform, right? But like the smaller your channel, the the harder the compression tends to be, right? And of course your quality, like whatever you're working with, like you can always get better with that stuff, but it's, like don't stress it. it. It really is like the 10,000 hour rule, like you'll get better over time and like just focus on like one thing per video that you can take away as getting objectively better at, you know? Now tip number seven is, it's great to aim for perfection, but don't let perfection get in the way of you getting the job done. Meaning, don't let over analysis create paralysis. If you're aiming for perfection, dude, like honestly, like I just wouldn't even bother. You just have to be willing to accept that you're gonna suck in the beginning. I think people are really overly critical of what other people think and that's what, that's what stops them from getting password go the whole concept of youtube needs to be you need to enjoy the process okay, um if you don't enjoy anything about the process <laughs> just i wouldn't even bother either um like and you'll find out pretty quickly so like make your five videos and then be consistent try to be consistent for, for a few months and once you're consistent like again you might get up to like a couple hundred subs if you make a really well-made video and it does well with the algorithm or anyone refers to the algorithm if if you're not being pushed in the algorithm it's not the algorithm that isn't favoring you it's people telling you that your video sucks it's people saying that your content sucks and that you can't take that personally you take it as a challenge you go like hang on i don't think that i'm much worse than like say if i were to compare to myself to other people doing what i do like i'll look around and see what they do thumbnail wise what they do tag wise what they do um like how long are their streams like do they have background music um do they have uh slides when they go away it's just such a deep rabbit hole man but like i could i could go on for a while like i'm clearly very passionate about it but it's just for me like i've been doing it for a few years and i'm maybe only just starting to see maybe potentially some some money from what i'm doing and you just need to accept that that's the reality yeah Tip number eight is stop asking for the permission of others to succeed. You're planning on upgrading a PC soon and recording the PC build process and my setup. Build as your first two videos. Is that a is that like valid? Respectfully, sir. Make the content. Make the effing content. Like just make it. Like for me, dude. Don't it like you could make a video about you as a male doing makeup and that could go bonkers and some of the biggest people in the weirdest places are massive on uh social media for for doing that stuff it's like i can't be the person that tells you whether something does well you just need to make the video like i you're asking for permission to succeed and i can't give that to you you just need to do it yeah like i think you'll come you'll come away from like this discussion with me and you'll be so juiced up go and just do it and I can't wait for you to have success, man. Like you're gonna crush it. Now this might be oversimplified. However, I am a strong believer that anyone can have a fantastic idea. Anyone can have a lightning in the bottle idea. You just have to have the confidence. You just need to have the attitude of like, look, I have this idea. I'm gonna put that up on my idea board. One year more deep in the rabbit hole of YouTube, like 
some of the more successful people, what they do is they create an ideas box. They spend an hour a day brainstorming and they'll put their ideas up. Like some of the most successful entrepreneurs I watch that crush it, they create ideas every single day for an hour. Uh, what they'll do is they'll put them into an ideas box and they won't action it straight away. What they'll do is they will, um, like they will sit with it for a month. And basically at the end of a month or better yet, a few days, a week, if they still look at that idea and they love it, great they'll action it right there and then i'll be in the priorities list if they uh don't love it after that point well guess what it's in the bin but if they do that every single day that monthly check-in of their initial idea like once they've had time to just cement with it like that compound so you're planting 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 all your seeds and then you're reaping the harvest and then you don't actually see the benefit of the action until like four to six months maybe maybe even further away in the future that's like for anyone that's in sales like i don't I, I used to be in sales like it was 12 months of planting seeds of cold calling and getting leads and generating things putting ideas into play and messaging people before you reap the benefit 12 to 18 months so you gotta have like a 12 to 18 month horizon with anything if you guys made it this far into the video you guys are the real ones much love to you and your family and, and as always if you got any questions at all I stream as much as I can and as usually daily. So please, please, please come back with any questions. You hit a hurdle, you're troubleshooting, you can't get answers to it, come back to me and I'll see what I can do. Like I'm here to, to help because I, I wish I had someone in my corner as well. Like I spent so many hours aimlessly trying to get better.